So I had ended up passing out while I was getting it done. I would literally be in there from like 2 p.m. to like 8 p.m., 9 p.m. Like messy situation that could have been avoided. And that's why I feel like I'm just trapped. Videos that go viral, that's how it is for real. Y'all don't have to speak every day to still be cool. Like I feel like I would be gassing it if I said 10 out of 10. I just couldn't do it anymore. I didn't know what was wrong. I was going in there every single day after class. And I never told my parents this, so. Actually, no, because I just posted a video. Like, the day that y'all are watching this, well, no. In real time, I just posted a video today. The same day I'm filming this. But the last time I posted a video was like a month ago. The last video I posted was my prom um, video before I posted the one that I just posted today. Okay, I changed the camera angle just a little bit. But yeah, welcome back to my channel, y'all. Oh my god. Alexa, who acts for you? Hmm, I don't know that one. Right, I don't know either. Um, but hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Like I said, it's been a while, blah, blah, blah. Let's get into the video. Today, we're gonna be doing an updated, um, updated Q&A, life update Q&A. The last time I did one of these was last year. I wanna say around this time, actually. So, yeah, we're doing another one. I'm probably going to be doing one of these every year, honestly, because a lot happens in a year. Um, but I did post some questions on my Instagram. Like, I did the little anonymous question sticker thing because people are more, more bold that way. So, I posted that, and I haven't looked at the questions yet. I'm going to start by telling y'all some things that y'all might have peeped but that I never like explicitly said. Like I've said it on my Instagram, but not on my YouTube. Not even a couple things, just one thing really. I got a tattoo back in, well for starters it says, God is greater than the highs and lows. And I got this tattoo back in October of last year. So it was around um, Jiho, I think it was like October 28th like to be specific yeah i got it <laughs> during jiho it was honestly really really painful <laughs> it was painful like at first it was nothing then as he started to go like as he started to get through the tattoo it started to hurt and i hadn't eaten anything at all that day um because i had class my schedule was real busy that day so I hadn't eaten anything. I had a pop tart, that was it. So I had ended up passing out while I was getting it done. Jasmine was there, Zoe was there, Key was there, Olivia was there. I had passed out and um, Jasmine was trying to like wake me back up. Um, they put me on Zoe's bed. She gave me some gummies for like sugar. And then yeah, I was fine, but you know, it was good experience like I want another one but I just don't know what I want I do want a tattoo right here but I just know that's gonna hurt so I don't know and that's fine to I know I want I literally want tattoos in all the most painful places so I probably am never gonna end up getting it but I probably want one of my other wrists it's really hot I just turned my fan off so that y'all can't hear it in the background but it is it's really hot but we're gonna get to the questions okay first question What's the most expensive thing you own? My camera? No, not my camera, actually. My computer. My MacBook. Um, is that the most expensive thing? Yeah. Next question is... Okay, that's not a question, but... <laughs> How many college parties did you go to in total? Dang, let's count. 
I don't even remember the first. Oh, I do remember the first one. Um, that was Welcome Week. Um, does it count if I didn't actually get into the party? Because that one Jiho party, Planet of the Greeks, we went, but we didn't get inside. Um, there was another party that we didn't get into. But it was that one. It was the Welcome Week party, the Planet of the Greeks. I swear there was another Geo party that we didn't get into. Um, the Jim Jam party. The um, the freaking the SOA party. That was the funnest party ever. Um, it was the Aggie Fest kickoff party. That party was so fun. That party and then the 21 Jump Street party and then that Drewski party don't I mean I went but like uh, that party we're not even gonna talk about it um bro I know there's more cuz I have six I'm kind of six right now I swear there was another party that we did not get into I did forget about a couple parties it was um one Jiho party that we didn't get into um, because it was a free till 1030 event and six stars they always be doing that they hold you outside until 1030 and then when they get up there they say give us your money um, but they for no for this one actually it was first 100 people free and we got there we got there at 9 um, 15 we got to the front and they said they wouldn't let nobody else in so that one and then we went to a party at cottages <sighs> I can't believe we went to that party. Thankfully, nothing happened to us, but we went to um, a, a block party. Not a block. Was it a block party? It was a darty at Cottages that we went to, so, yeah. I don't remember, but I counted six, so six for now. Are you in a relationship? No, I'm not. I'm single. I'm a single gal. What type of music do you listen to? I listen to R&B mostly. I listen to Caribbean music. I listen to rap. I listen to everything except for country. Um, my favorite artist is LMA, as y'all probably know. Um, but yeah. The next question is, what would you rate your college experience one to ten? Um. Honestly, I would rate my college experience. I feel like I would be gassing it if I said 10 out of 10. So I'm gonna say, well, I'm gonna say 8.5 because a lot of things that I wanted to experience, I didn't get to experience to like the full capacity, if that makes sense. Like, especially for like my the school that I specifically went to, like a lot of the things that they like piped up. I didn't really get to experience to the fullest like Aggie Fest. I didn't get to experience Aggie Fest like um like in its entirety because I did leave campus to come back home halfway through it. But it was cool, like NCAT I I don't know, NCAT it's it's a great school. I really liked it there. Um Academics classes were hard, but I made the dean's list. Um, my first semester, and I made the chancellor's list. Second semester, so woo -woo for me. But yeah, the classes were definitely hard. But if you're going to college, class of 2023, that just graduated. If you're going to college, make sure you study. Find friends to study with study groups go to the library take advantage of like tutoring and stuff like that because I didn't really in high school I didn't really study I didn't go to tutoring none of that but in college the library was my second home like I would literally be in there from like 2 p.m. to like 8 p.m. 9 p.m. like I was going in there every single day after class like it was crazy but it was worth it because it was crazy, but it was worth it because, you know, I ended, this semester I ended with all A's and one B plus. When I tell y'all the only reason I passed my classes is because I had an iPad, I'm not even lying. 
Like, I had to, um, I had to give it back because I'm not staying at AT. But I'm finna get me an iPad because I'm not gonna pass my classes if I don't have an iPad. <laughs> oh my gosh, that iPad did so much for me. Y'all don't even understand. If you had one, you understand. The iPad gonna help, help you get by. For real. Do you ever get your belly button pierced? I don't think I ever told y'all. It's crazy. I would. But I did end up getting my belly button pierced. And I never told my parents this, so I guess they're going to find out if they watch this video. But I got my belly button pierced back in September. It was literally September 1st. It was Jasmine's birthday. Because she wanted to get her um, cartilage pierced. So we all went um, and I got my belly button pierced. Oh, this is going to be the yeah, top of so the It's going to come out right now. Mm -hmm. okay. And then I'm going to have you either sit on this hand or put it behind your head. There we go. So I don't touch it. Oh, this is neat. I just didn't know the needle was that long. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it's just for us to grab it. That's the only reason it's long. So it looks really scary, but it's really Yeah. Scary. I don't think I even looked at mine before I pierced it because they just had all the stuff behind the counter. I was like, oh no. I'm going to tighten that ball on. All right, girl, have a pop-up. Oh, it's going to I took it out after three, like three days because it was making me sick. Like I was just nauseous every day, like after I got it to the point where I had to keep leaving class early and I didn't know what was wrong. So I had t texted the lady cause she gave me her Instagram. So I texted the lady that did it and I was asking her and she was like, oh, you might be allergic to the jewelry. And that's what everybody else was saying too. So. I just had Jasmine take it out for me. I was really trying to thug it out because I didn't want to waste my money, but I just couldn't do it anymore. Like, I felt nauseous every day. So I just took it out. Um, I think it was like sterling silver. I think that's what it was called. I don't, I don't know. But if I do ever get it, I would get it again, but um, not right now. I do want to get my the other side of my nose pierced, though, so I can have a hoop and a stud in. I'm going to get that this summer for sure. For sure, hopefully. I'm gonna get that before I go to college. What's your current favorite song? Honestly, anything element. <laughs> I really like Burden M by Jid or by J.I.D. however y'all say it. I said that in one of my videos. That song is really good though. And then, um, anything off the Element new album, um, like Pieces. I've been listening to that song this week, R&P. That song is really good too. It's really it. Yeah, I just really like LMA. <laughs> what are you in school for? I'm in school for nursing. So, I want to be a pediatric travel nurse, like, when I get out of college. And then, like, eventually when I, like, settle down and, like, get married and start a family, I just want to be stationed somewhere um, as a pediatric nurse. So, yeah, I'm in CNA school right now, currently. This is my second to last week um, getting my CNA 1 license, my certification. And I'll probably start working as a CNA, maybe. Well, I have to, to keep it active. So I'll do that. Um, but yeah, it's pretty cool. It's pretty fun. The people are cool. My teacher's cool. The class is four weeks doing that. And then nursing school starts next fall. Like the nursing program at school starts next fall. So I'll still be taking prereqs this year, this upcoming year. Um, and now I'll start taking nursing classes. But yeah, that's what I'm in school for. I was originally originally in school for biology, but I just couldn't, like all the, um, all the science classes, they were taking me out. I would have had to take two biology classes each semester 
and then I would have had to take two chem I think two chemistry classes a semester like chemistry in a lab semester and then I had to take I would have had to take two physics classes and boy junior year physics almost took me out so I was I wasn't even gonna do that were you in any orgs or clubs in college no I mean I just finished my first year but no I was was I no I don't know why I had to think about it I wasn't but I definitely do want to get more involved um, at my new school because I wasn't as involved as I wanted to um, at my old school but when I get to my new school I do want to be SOL a student orientation leader because at NCAT I wanted to be an ASL but obviously I don't go there no more so I can't but I can be as well at my new school. So I want to do that and then some type of mentoring program or something. I don't know. I got to see what they have. And I'm definitely going to try out for cheer um, next for junior year. I would have did it this year, but I had, they had tryouts while I was at school still in North Carolina. So I couldn't go. I can't do cheer this year, but I'm definitely going to try out next year and do that for junior year and senior year hopefully you don't have to know how to tumble because i don't know how to tumble i'm not about to learn I, I'm really not. <laughs> somebody said is NCAT really what social media depicts it to be yes honestly yes because like all the videos that y'all see on tiktok and instagram of like like the videos that go viral that's how it is for real like it's not sugar-coated like that's really how it is but like I don't know I really don't know that's the really the only thing that is posted on social media about NCAT is like the parties and like the events and stuff like that and that's all facts like that's how it is for real um so yeah it is what social media depicts it to be as far as well I can't really speak on the school as a whole okay i'm not gonna say here and bash them i mean there's nothing to bash but like there's i mean every school has its pros and cons so with ncat one of their big cons was communication they sucked at communication there was an incident that happened back in march where like there was somebody on campus that was a danger to the students and we weren't made aware until the following week so st just stuff like that but you know that's all i really gotta say all i can think of right now i mean ncat they gonna provide for their students that's one thing um but yeah that's really it yeah i take that back ncat don't provide for their students i mean they provide for their students but it's a lot of things that they also don't provide for their students um housing for one um a lot of people are gonna be homeless class of 27 they really don't know what they're getting themselves into i'm not even gonna lie like i heard there was 2,000 kids at nsl one um when i went to nsl it was 2,000 kids at all nsls combined where are they gonna stay like last year when i was a freshman they had um freshmen in hotels like where are you gonna put all these kids that's another one of their problems they over admit students like crazy and then they ask for all this money that's why out-of-state tuition is going up like <sighs> they do have a lot of orgs they have a lot of orgs in clubs so and if anybody from NCAT 27 is watching this they have a lot of orgs and a lot of clubs. You'll find one that's for you. I promise. I promise. So, yeah. What are your summer plans? I'm going to California again. I may or may not vlog that. Um, I'm going to California for my cousin's sweet 16. So I'll be there in July for a week. And then my mom just sprung a last minute trip out the country um but we we have some like we're talking about going 
somewhere like we have a place but we don't know 100 percent if we're gonna go there it's gonna be an extended family trip so i'm definitely gonna vlog that if that happens hopefully hopefully it does because <laughs> i want to go out the country like but yeah that's all trip wise i asked my sister if she wanted to go to charlotte <laughs> One weekend and she said yes yeah. so I may or may not be going to Charlotte I just really want to see Charlotte like I've heard um a lot of people from North Carolina says that Charlotte is one of the nicest cities in North Carolina so I want to go to Charlotte so if we do go I'm, I'm a vlog it's just gonna be a little weekend trip just hang out with my friends we have plans to go a lot of places like I think we're trying to go tubing um one day like just little things nothing big you know we have made all these plans but this happens every every year like we make all these plans to do these big extravagant things and they don't happen like they wanted to go to orlando for lit lando i don't know if y'all know what that is i never heard of that until they had told me very last minute we didn't go um as expected um we were fresh out of college we didn't have jobs yet so no source of income so no we weren't about to go to Orlando we are planning to do some other things I'm gonna be vlogging like whatever we do I'm gonna be vlogging it so y'all gonna get some content did you fall out with any of your at-home friends when you went away for college no I didn't actually I didn't um I fell off with somebody before I left for college, but that was like a whole like messy situation that could have been avoided, but you know, everything happens for a reason, but no, I didn't know. I'm still close with all my bookies, like, like we never left each other. And like, even some of my friends, like I'll go, a long time without talking to them and when we do like rekindle it's like we never like nothing ever happened like one of my friends i stopped talking to him dimitri i stopped talking to dimitri for like not even like i know like weird stuff like we just stopped talking for like a year and then we i mean that was before college but still we just came back talking again everything was cool like and even when i did leave for college we stopped talking for some months like a lot of like a long time and we just started talking again like back cool everything everything's cool like samantha we used to not talk a lot but we talk a lot now like that's my gym partner that's why i be going to the gym with like when you have like when you're in a mature friendship like being in a mature friendship is realizing that like y'all don't have to speak every day to still be cool like we all understand that we all have our own life like, we're growing up we all have our own lives we all have jobs we are all we're all in school like we're not gonna have time to hang out every day talk every day like how we were in high school and middle school so like we're in college now we're growing we're adults so you know no, I didn't fall out with any of my friends, basically. Um, any of my at-home friends when I went away for college. Our bonds are getting stronger, that's for sure. I can definitely say that. Like, we're getting closer and closer by the day. Especially since we can actually do our own stuff now. Like, we can get ourselves places. Like, we have money, we can do stuff. So... Yeah, that's what I got to say about that. But y'all know how, like, okay, some people, like, when they apply for jobs, or like kids, let me say kids, when kids apply for jobs, most of the time, their, their intentions of working are so that they can get money for a certain thing, or like a certain, or just to just, just have, um, you know, a source of income for the summer. But the thing about jobs now, or at least my job, is so why I feel like I'm trapped i mean i don't feel like i'm trapped but i do feel like i'm trapped when managers or like upper like supervisors or whoever 
are starting to like rely on you too heavy like they start to like it starts to feel like oh i'm not working to make money i'm working to help you and that's how i feel like i feel like i'm not working to make money no more i'm working to help like my managers like to make sure that they have somebody like i feel like they rely on me too heavy and then whenever i do come back for like the summertime and i try to get a different job it's just like okay there's no point in me trying to get another job now because i have all this stuff going on and by the time i get this new job i'm only gonna be working for a certain amount of time so i might as well just stay here and that's why i feel like i'm just trapped at my job right now and i just feel like i just can't get out and i don't want to quit without having another job because then what like and I do hair but I'm not doing hair every day like I have like three clients a week which is good like I was saying I have like three clients a week which is good but that's not <laughs> money like money wise that's why I want to have like a job and then I'll have my little side hustle which is there but I don't know where I was going with that um I think I just like talking I'm gonna go ahead and end off the video here Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on your post notifications so you can be notified every single time I upload a video. Comment down below video ideas you guys want to see from me next. Or you can DM me on Instagram. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye.